Namaste and welcome to this Hatha Yoga session with me, Avinash. I will be your guide for today's practice and in today's Hatha Yoga session, we will be moving in multiple different asanas which will help us on our upper body flexibility, lower body flexibility and overall body strengthening as well. So before we start the practice, I would like you to take two things throughout the practice with you. First is keeping your strengths in your mind and the second is keeping your limitations in your mind. Uh, when it comes to strengths, try to do every posture at the best of your capabilities. But if any posture is not comfortable for you due to anything, just uh, if there is a variation available today in today's practice, go ahead with the variation. Uh, if you do not uh, feel comfortable with the variation also, you can completely avoid that posture and move on to the next one. That is completely fine. All right, so I hope you're ready sitting on your mat right now. Uh, let's sit in any comfortable position, either Sukhasan, Vajrasan, whatever suits you better. Keep the back straight, hands in chin mudra, and we'll start off by first closing our eyes and to our centering. Very slowly bring your awareness towards your breathing. Start to take long inhalations and slow exhalations now. With every inhalation, observe the expansion of your abdomen, your thoracic and your cavicular region. With the exhalation, observe how everything is settling back to its place. Let us also try to be aware of the complete body. And observe how are you feeling with it today. We're trying to prepare ourselves mentally for today's practice. setting a strong intention of giving your best during the session. Now let us join the hands to the heart center, starting with three omkaras together. Slowly start rubbing your palms, generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles, and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks, looking into your palms. Perfect. Now let's get started with our warm ups for today. Uh, we will be starting with some standing warm ups. So let's stand on the mat first, keeping uh, the feet slightly apart, keeping the hands close to the body. If you want, you can keep the feet together as well. Standing tall, rolling the shoulders back, taking the chest out, and starting just with a simple neck movement first. So take a deep breath, inhale, and take the chin up and look up. Exhale, down. Let's keep moving like this up down, up, 
down two more times up down one last time up down and neck back to the center now from here just turn your neck to the right side and look to the right wall center left and center keep moving right center left center three more times right center left center right center left center one last time right center left center and now from here bring your both the hands to the shoulder level palms facing up bring your fingers to the shoulders and open your elbows to the sides bring them down forward up and move one two three four five reverse it five four three two one and bring the hands down now from here open your feet for a shoulder distance apart interlock your fingers flip the palms out take a deep breath inhale and raise your hands up from the front as you exhale laterally bend towards your right side feel the stretch coming from the left side of the body inhale come back exhale lift and inhale center let's keep moving three center four center five center six center seven center eight center nine center and last 10 and center very slowly bring your hands down unlock your fingers let the feet be here only now take your right hand behind your back left palm on the right shoulder twist from the right side and look to the back wall inhale come back left hand goes behind your back right palm on the left shoulder twist from the left side and inhale come back okay let's keep twisting from the right three four from the left five from the right six from the left seven from the right eight from the left nine from the right and ten from the left wonderful slowly come back to the center and let's move ahead with our sequence for today we're going with shivananda style of surya namaskar for about five rounds all right so let's get started by first coming to the beginning of the mat join your hands to the heart center in pranamasan and we will start from here by taking a deep breath inhale and raising the hands up from the front arching back trying to look up exhale start to bend forward down completely for the first forward bend you can always bend your knees and stay in this forward bend then breathe in take the right leg back on the mat right knee down with the right toe out shoulders up look forward into ashvasan chalan take the left leg back come into a plank from there keep your knees down chest down chin down on the ground inhale scoop forward toes out lift till your navel region exhale turn the toes in go back into your mountain position inhale step your right foot in between your both the hands left knee down look forward exhale left leg in come in a forward bend inhale start to raise the hands up from the front and arch exhale hands to the heart center let's continue breathe in raise the hands up and arch exhale bend forward down inhale left leg back left knee down with the left toe out exhale right leg back plank holding the breath here keeping the knees chest chin down on the ground inhale bhujangasan exhale parvatasan inhale left leg in right knee down on the ground exhale right leg in coming in a forward bend breathe in up breathe out to the heart center second cycle raise the hands up exhale 
Bend down. Right leg goes back. Ashwasan Chalan. Left leg goes back. Santulanasan. Knees, chest, chin down. Into Ashtang Pranam. Inhale, Bhujangasan. Exhale, Parvatasan. Inhale, right leg in. Left knee down, Ashwasan Chalan. Left leg in. Forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale to the heart center. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, bend down. Inhale, left leg back. Ashwasan Chalan. Right leg back, Santulanasan. Knees, chest, chin down on the ground. Inhale, Bhujangasan. Exhale, Parvatasan. Inhale, left foot in. Right knee down on the ground. Exhale, right foot in. Forward bend. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale to the heart center. Keep moving. Third cycle. Breathe in. Raise the hands up. Breathe out. Bend forward down. Breathe in. Right leg back. Right knee down. Ashwasan Chalan. Left leg back. Santulan Asan. Knees, chest. Chin down on the ground. Breathe in. Bhujangasan. Breathe out. Parvatasan. Breathe in. Step your right leg in. Left knee down. Breathe out. Left leg in. Padahastasan. Inhale. Hastuttanasan. Exhale. Pranamasan. Inhale. Hastuttanasan. Exhale. Padahastasan. Inhale. Left leg back. Ashwasan Chalan. Exhale and hold the breath into Santulan Asan. Knees, chest, chin down on the ground. Inhale, Bhujangasan. Exhale, Parvatasan. Inhale, step your right leg. Sorry, take the right leg back. Left leg in between your both the hands. Right knee down. Exhale, right leg in. Come in a forward bend. Breathe in. Come all the way up. Exhale to the heart center. Fourth cycle. Breathe in. Raise the hands up. Breathe out. Bend down. Breathe in. Right leg back. Right knee down. Ashwasan Chalan. Left leg back. Santulan Asan. Knees, chest. Chin down. On the ground. Inhale. Bhujangasan. Exhale. Parvatasan. Inhale. Right leg in. Left knee down. Exhale, left leg in, forward bend, inhale, all the way up, exhale to the heart center, breathe in, raise the hands up, breathe out, bend down, breathe in, left leg back, left knee down, breathe out, right leg back, hold the breath, knees, chest, chin down on the ground, inhale, Bhujangasan, exhale, Parvatasan, inhale, left leg in, right knee down, exhale, right leg in, forward bend, breathe in, come all the way up, breathe out to the heart center, one last cycle, let's finish it, breathe in, raise the hands up, breathe out, bend down, breathe in, take the right leg back, right knee down on the ground, breathe out, left leg back, plank, Knees, chest, chin down on the ground. Inhale, Bhujangasan. Exhale, Parvatasan. And stay here into this Parvatasan for five breaths for this round. One, two, three, four, five. And with inhalation, step your right leg in left knee down, exhale, left leg in, forward bend, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, hands to the heart center, inhale, hands up, exhale, bend down, inhale, left leg back, left knee down, exhale, right leg back, plank, holding the breath from here, knees, chest, chin down, inhale, Bhujangasan, exhale, Parvatasan, once again, five breaths, one, 
do three, four, and five. Slowly, take your left foot in, right knee down. Exhale, right leg in, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Wonderful, everyone. I hope you're feeling completely warmed up by now. And just to control the breath and bring the breath back to its rhythmic state, let's keep the feet apart, hands away and eyes closed to quickly catch up the breath and then moving ahead into the practice. One, two, three, four, five, and very slowly open your eyes. Perfect. Awesome. Now let's move further into the practice. We're going to go with some static asanas now, meaning we're going to stay into the posture. So let's start with our first posture. For that, I want you to come to the center of your mat. Okay. Once that is done, open your feet for a medium stance of approximately three to three and a half feet. And don't make it more wider there. After that, turn the right toe to the right side and turn the left toe inwards for a 45 degree angle. Try not to move your heel from its place once that is done and try to look towards where the right toes are pointing. Once that is done, keeping your hands in on the sides of the body and take a deep breath, inhale, raise your hands up. If you're super comfortable today with the shoulders, then Take your hands behind your back and join the palms behind your back, something like this. And then go ahead. If you're raising the hands up, be there. If you're holding the hands like this, be here. And then slowly start to bend forward down with exhalation. If your hands are straight and uh, completely reaching down towards the mat, see if you can keep it on either sides of your feet. Lengthen and keep pushing towards your right leg. Feeling that nice stretch coming from the back of your right leg. Maintaining the left leg straight and breathing here into Parshottanasana for about next five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. five and with inhalation slowly come up and if your hands were back you can take them out and then slowly turn your toes back to its original position from where you started and then turn the left toe out to the left side and turn the right toe in for a 45 degree angle looking towards the toes oh, sorry looking towards your left toes and once that is done Whichever variation you followed with the hands up or the hands back, do the same thing on the other side also. Okay? And breathe in. Either raise your hands up or take the hands back. As you exhale, slowly go down and breathe. One, try to be aware of the stretches where you're feeling. Two. Three. Four, five, and with inhalation, slowly come up, take the hands down or take the hands out from back and turn your toes back to its original position. Take a deep breath, inhale, exhale out. Once that is done, now one more time, let us turn the right toe to the right side. Turn the left toe, same for a 45 degree angle. Once that is done, I want you to breathe in and raise your hands up to the shoulder level from the sides. As you exhale, 
slowly start to twist from the waist and take your left palm down either inside your left foot or if you're super comfortable today outside your right foot and they just try to uh, turn your chest towards the right wall and the right hand straight pointing up to the ceiling breathe here and maintain into parivritta trikona asana one two three four five and with inhalation slowly start to come up and bring the hands down turn the right toe in left toe back and once that is done left toe out to the left side and turn the right toe in for a 45 degree angle once again breathe in both the hands to the shoulder level from the sides as you breathe out slowly start to twist and once again either inside or outside the foot and twist keep looking to the other side once again parivrutta trikonasan 1 2 3 4 5 and with inhalation slowly come up exhale bring the hands down and turn your toes back to the center wonderful now bring your feet together and you can face to the beginning of the mat once that is done now very slowly let's bring the right sole of the feet to the left inner thigh okay and catch hold of your right big toe you can just watch for now if you want catching hold of the right big toe with the first two fingers of our hand and we will try to stretch our right leg forward completely how much ever it is possible uh make sure that before you focus on stretching the leg you need to first find your balance on the other leg once you're confident with the balance then only stretch your leg out otherwise just move only till the point where you are confidently balancing okay so the goal is stretching also but balancing is more important right now so let's slowly bring the right sole of the feet to the left inner thigh catching hold of the right big toe with the first two fingers of the right hand and then very slowly stretching the right leg out and holding it there into uttatta hasta padangusthasana a 1 2 3 4 let's stay more 6 7 and 10 very slowly bring the leg back and slowly release it down awesome let's do the same on the other side very slowly balance on the right foot and bring the left sole of your feet to your right inner thigh taking the right palm on the waist and holding the left big toe once you have your balance stretch your leg out and breathe one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten very slowly bring the leg in and bring the leg down wonderful take a deep breath in here exhale out awesome okay now come to the beginning of your mat with me and once that is done place your both the palms on the waist breathe in as you breathe out slowly bend forward completely down reach the ground with your palms and take your legs back 
into a mountain position okay from the mountain position take a deep breath inhale raise the right leg up exhale step your right foot in between your both the hands once that is done take your left heel down sideways and slowly just come up with your upper body if you want you can keep the right knee straight for now after that interlock your fingers behind your back take the elbows straight and once that is set we bend the right knee and on exhalation while bending the right knee you will try to go in with the complete upper body so as you're going inside the right leg not outside the right leg there can be two ways to go into it if you want you can place the right side of the body a little on the thigh as a support and try to reach down or if you're more comfortable just try to keep the body completely in like this and roll the hands over all right let's stay here in to shirsha padangusthasan for about next five breaths okay interlock your fingers breathe in breathe out and bend down wonderful let the left leg be straight and keep breathing one let the hands go over the head nicely feeling that shoulder opening two three four five and with inhalation slowly come up keeping your both the palms down on the mat and take the right leg back on the mat now take the left hand, left leg up exhale step that left foot in between your both the hands and from there take the right heel down sideways slowly come up and then very slowly bend your left knee and lock your fingers with exhalation go down and stay one two three four five and very slowly come up and unlock your fingers keep your both the palms down take the leg back and come into a mountain position awesome slowly keep your knees down here all right and let's have a check on the shoulders first so we're not resting right now keep going guys uh, spread the fingers and keep your shoulders exactly over your wrist once that is done now we will slowly straighten the legs out and back into santulan asan for about next 10 breaths let's stay here one two three start to feel a bit of a vibration try to feel that engagement from the complete body 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 slowly keep your knees down and this time sit back and rest back into child's pose balasan breathe deeply 5 4 and 3 2 1 and slowly come back up into vajrasan from vajrasan now let us keep our forearms down on the mat once our forearms are down just make sure you're checking the elbows should be underneath your shoulders and once that is done stretch your legs out one by one back on the mat after that turn the left forearm in and face the left fist towards your right side try to drop right feet on top of your left 
if balancing is an issue keep the right feet in front of your left feet and let's stay here into a forearm side plank holding it there one two three keep strong four five and very slowly keep your right forearm down on the mat turn the right forearm in and lift your left hand up and holding it there once again five breaths one two three four five and very slowly keep your left forearm down keep your knees down and slowly sit back into vajrasan perfect now before we go with our next position i want you to just have a look at the position uh, till then you can rest in vajrasan itself and now we are going with a position known as kakasan kakasan is a arm balancing position which i'll just show you how it looks like so we are somewhere here with our elbows shoulders over the wrists and we will try to be on our feet with this after that you try to keep the legs on your tricep and you're trying to place the inner side of your legs on the tricep after bending the elbows something like this and then we try to lift our feet off the floor and stay there but if that is not comfortable today what we will do is we will take one leg off at a time and how we will do it is staying here and lifting one of the leg up and then keeping it down and then change so in total we are staying for 10 breaths if you are able to go with a complete variation where both the legs are off the floor great try to stay there but if it is difficult for you to go in the full variation today just go with one leg up at a time for five five breaths on each leg all right that will prepare us for the position now let's go first come into a squat position keep the back straight and keep the hands in front of you stretched once that is set now lift your hip up and bend the elbows a little bit back side try to rest the legs on the tricep and lift your toes up holding it here for about next 10 breaths 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Wonderful. Slowly drop yourself back. I hope you changed the leg in within the five counts if you were going with a single leg variation. And now let's just quickly sit into vajrasan and point the fingers back and just try to lean a little bit so you feel the stretch coming from the back of your wrist okay i hope you felt some kind of intensity and some kind of vibration throughout the body that is a good sign that you're working in the position nice and strong and we'll stay here just for five breaths 1 2 3 4 and 5 very slowly come back with the hands and now stretch your legs out on the mat okay keeping the feet out keeping the knees bent slightly and after this take your left heel outside your right hip and the right leg goes exactly the same from the top of your left leg So if you look from this angle you are actually trying to bring both the knees as close as possible and both the toes are pointing out while the feet is fully resting on the mat 
Once that is done, now we take the left hand behind our back and you're really trying to pull the hand up towards your upper back. Once that is done, take the right hand from top and interlock your fingers into Gomukhasan. It's a, a, in this position, you, if you want, you can close your eyes, but remember one thing, that you may want to turn your neck down. Don't do that. Just make sure your neck is straight only. And breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Slowly open your eyes if you close it. Take the hands out, take the legs out, and change the leg. Right leg goes down, left leg goes up. Once again, try to bring the knees as close as the body allows you to. And once that is done, take the left hand up and right hand back. Breathe deeply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful. Now slowly open your eyes. Once again, if you've closed it, and take your hands out. Slowly stretch your legs out on the mat. Wonderful. Now let's move us. Uh, let's move for the next position. So for this one, let's fold the right leg back on the mat. Try to make sure that your right toe is pointing out back completely. A subtle stretch from the ankle joint and a subtle stretch coming from the thigh right now. If it is not much, let's try to go deeper into the position. Just make sure that your foot is not going out something like this or you're not you know, feeling any discomfort from the ankle or the knee joint while going deeper into the position. Okay, so if you're comfortable, now from here, very slowly try to go back on your forearms. And if you're still comfortable with this, see if you can lie down on the back completely and fold the left leg in. Now, if you're super comfortable with this, just maintain it. If you feel that you're you're not right now comfortable, just go one step before on the forearms and stay there with the legs straight. Okay? Breathe here deeply into Supta Virasan for about five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, and slowly. Stretch the left leg out, come up with your body, first on the forearms and then on the palms. Stretch your right leg out and let's fold the left leg back with the left toe pointing out. Once again, going down on your forearms or go with the variation, whichever you did on the other side. There can be a possibility that one side feels more flexible and the other side may not feel that flexible but still try to go with the same variation you did on the other side. Don't go deeper on one side just because it felt slightly easier. Now if it is comfortable, bend the right leg and once again holding it for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Very slowly straighten the right leg out if over there and one by one on the forearms palms and straighten your left leg out once that is done now slowly lie down on your back and bend your both the legs in trying to keep the heels close to your hips and once that is done take a deep breath inhale and Try to press from your feet and try to lift your hip off the floor as high as possible. See if you can interlock your fingers 
under your back and keep the elbows straight let the hip go high into setu bandhasan one two three four five last two breaths six seven and slowly bring your pelvis down and slowly back flat on the mat stretch your left leg out and bend your right leg in once that is done open your right hand to the shoulder level from the right side your left palm on the right knee now breathe in as you breathe out turn your neck to the right side and try to push your right knee towards your left once again if you want you can close your eyes here it's a relaxing position suptamatsindrasan One, two, three, four, five, and with inhalation, slowly untwist. Straighten your right leg out. Fold the left leg in. Open your left hand to the shoulder level, and twist to the other side. Breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. With inhalation, slowly untwist. Come back and stretch your left leg out. Now, going for the last position, bend your both the knees. Bring your knees close to the chest. See if you can catch hold of your. feet the arch of your feet from inside your legs and try to open the feet slightly wider the soles of the feet parallel to the ceiling pull the legs down keep the back flat and chin tucked in into a happy baby pose 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 very slowly bring your legs down stretch your legs out on the mat keep your feet apart hands down and away from the body palms facing up to the ceiling eyes closed adjust your back neck your arms your legs whatever feels better for you in your shavasana once you're completely rested properly into the position we will start with a humming sound to go for a deeper relaxation into our shavasan keep the lips together teeth apart from inside the lips and the tip of your tongue touching the roof of your mouth take a deep breath inhale
Just feel the vibration, relaxation, and the calmness throughout the body. Let us maintain that for some more time into our Shavasana. Very slowly come back to your body consciousness. Sensitize your toes, your fingers, palms, and start to feel your complete body. Very slowly bring your feet together. Stretch your both the hands above your head, interlock your fingers, flip the palms out and start to stretch your complete body. And relax. Very slowly take a turn towards your right side. Rest your hand, head on the right hand, left palm in front of your chest on the mat. With the support of your left palm, Slowly try to come up and sit in any comfortable position. Join your hands to the heart center and let us close this practice with one Om and three Shanti together. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And slowly start rubbing your palms and generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles. Spread the energy down to your neck, arms, chest, abdomen, back, and the legs. And then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms. Perfect. Thank you so much everyone for joining me into this session today. I hope you're feeling much more fresh, relaxed and energetic as compared to the start of the session. I will be looking for your feedback on our Facebook community, Stronger Together with Cult Fit Home. Till then, please take care and have a great rest of the day. This is me, Avinash, signing off for today. For more such workout videos, download the Culfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.